सो फ्लैश मेमरीज आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड सो ओके सो उससे पहले ई प्रॉम्स इलेक्ट्रिकली प्रोग्रामेबल रॉम्स कुड बी इरेज्ड बाय फ्लैशिंग यू वी लाइट ओके दे हैव अ स्मॉल विंडो ऑन देयर पैकेज थ्रू विच यू फ्लैश यू वी लाइट एंड द ई प्रॉम्स कैन बी इरेज ई प्रॉम्स आर इलेक्ट्रिकली इरेजेबल एंड कैन कैन यू नो यू कुड डू रीड राइट इरेज ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स ऑन अ बाइट और अ वर्ड बेसिस flash memories are uh, again e proms mm but they enable reset or set of the entire array in one go that is why they are called flash ek flash mein the entire array can be programmed into zero or one and you could also write you know this is erase so you erase line in a flash but then you can write you know location by location is that okay so in the flash we are uh, uh, like by by a single change we are uh, completely changing the array and in the eprom we are changing a, a bit a single bit or a, or a, bunch of bits yes in one that way. is a flash is much faster yes sir okay mm -hmm. so how does the floating gate work if it is a regular read write operation practically nothing changes mm -hmm. what has been done over here is that you what do you say speed up the electrons apply a vertical field so that electrons which are very high speed very high kinetic energy would inject themselves into the floating gate at another end you will apply uh, either a negative or a zero volt over here on the gate so that all the negative charge in this region can be transmitted back to the class is that okay so it can be transmitted back to the source region over here okay hmm so what are we looking at uh how to write so we use hot electrons in flash we use uh, uv radiations in eproms and we also to to write or erase you know whatever to program or erase we also use what is called as fn tunneling that's the physics you how many have read about fn tunneling solid state devices course or something no one okay we will talk about it and uh, fn tunneling is used for e from both program and erase over here theek okay? hai so we just said and if it is a uv uh, uv erase or something then you notice there is this uh, hole in the package and you can actually see the dive beneath are you able to notice the dive beneath there yes another area <laughs> yes so uh, this uv light is shined uv light when it is shined uh, more electron pairs are generated yes, and they can be used to erase the entire thing okay, everything has those electrons now ठीक है हाउएवर मेकिंग अ पैकेज विच हैज ओपनिंग इन इट दैट इज कॉस्टली राइटिंग अ रॉम यू नो शाइनिंग यू वी थ्रू द एंटायर पैकेज इट टेक्स टाइम एंड इफ यू वॉन्टेड टू यूज दिस डाई फॉर एनी अदर पर्पज इट कैन बी ट्रिकी हाउ 
बिकॉज यू वी लाइट वुड फॉलो ऑन मेनी सेल्स सैमल्टेनियसली प्रोग्रामिंग सिलेक्टिव प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर डिफरेंट सेल्स सेपरेटली कैन बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट so this is this is a slide that we showed i think in dvd or sometime on different kind of leakages that would be there inside a mosfet you remember those of you who done dvd you remember this yes sir yes, 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 yes. we talking about different kinds of current that could be flowing in a uh, leaking leaking through a transistor uh and things which were problems earlier Uh, can actually be used to your benefit ha huh? hot carrier injection for example is a problem in a regular cmos process but for flash you use actually you use hot carrier injection to able to be able to do something ha huh? and gate oxide tunneling is actually used to program and erase eproms so things which were problematic earlier are being used inside uh, flash cells uh as a as an advantage to be able to program or erase the flash cell hmm? let us look at this uh, fn tunneling kind of a thing so are you able to see this band diagram yes sir ha huh? so there is this valence band valence band conduction band conduction band this is the oxide what happens no electron can actually flow why because uh, first the oxide thickness and the region across which this voltage change happens is very wide so tunneling cannot happen and this is a dielectric you will have to apply a very uh, high voltage to take things here and then they will go there hmm? however when i actually apply a voltage across uh, these two band bending also happens band bending band bending to yahan hogi this this voltage starts to appear across the dielectric also are you able to see this yes sir when when the oxide ke across ka energy diagram appears to be like this then what happens is electrons see that okay there is this only this thing that i need to cross see there is no energy level in between this but i could always jump that is what is called tunneling so i could always jump and uh, and tunnel and therefore i would be able to program or erase a particular location this is called as fn tunneling or electron tunneling is that okay any questions if i apply a, a high voltage there let us say 15 volts and uh, on a substrate i apply a very low voltage then what happens band this ox there is this voltage drop across the oxide and instead of really going all the way up from conduction band to the top of this cb uh, cb oxide uh, we we just tunnel across the cb oxide so at a lower voltage we are able to do electron transfer electron injection hmm because of tunneling what does it need it needs a high electric field across the gate oxide layer and the gate oxide layer to be reasonably thin if the gate oxide layer is very thick then tunneling would not happen ha huh? friends please give some acknowledgement sir uh, can we uh, attribute the th th thin uh, gate oxide layer uh, as a reason for the more space for electrons to flow uh, high energy electrons in this case as for uh, the tunneling thin region means that as soon as the bending happen even a little bit of bending can mean that the tunneling length is achieved whether i am able to tunnel or i do tunnel electrons there or not is a different issue 
but the tunneling length has been achieved so to be able to achieve that fast we need the overall oxide layer thickness to be less yes sir so basically uh, this physical thing only i was talking about okay got it Sir, uh, yes. Sir, if you are applying a very high voltage and if the uh, oxide layer is very thin, so is there a risk for dielectric breakdown in this case? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So the thin area, we need to minimize it as as less as possible so that probabilistically this would still not fail. We'll see one example in a little while. Okay, sir. Sir, yes. Sir, how FN tunneling is different from direct tunneling? What is the difference? FN tunneling actually involves uh, the field to be modified very significantly, so that because of this bending in the field, this steep bend that is happening in the field there, I am able to operate the memory. Okay, sir. So that that triangular one. Yeah. So if you if you notice, I had five volts there, minus twelve volts here. So what will happen? Where would the electrons go? Towards substrate uh, source. Hmm. Okay. Is that okay? And when I want to, uh, what do you say, erase, then all that I need to do is apply a positive charge on the bulk and use the IGB capacitance to do the healthcare theme. Uh, to to uh, uh, we use the uh, high voltage here and we kind of tunnel electrons out from there. Is that okay? Huh? Sir, so both the diagrams in the previous slide are doing the same thing, right? Mm, yeah, one is doing gate to source tunneling, the other is doing gate to bulk tunneling. Yeah, thank you. But tunneling only. And over here, I'm actually showing you that tunneling through this small animation. You apply voltage, apply more voltage, you apply still more voltage. So the electron actually had had to acquire a, a higher energy to be able to go there but now because it could actually slide on to the slide on to the slope very easily the distance is very short the tunneling happens hmm? so when you increase the applied voltage the uh, effective barrier width reduces Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, if you look at it over here, the, see the amount of tunneling current and the slope here. This is the slope at which the current would flow, and this is the other one. One six nine one one thousand. The slopes have the slopes change as you change the. Uh, what do you say? The voltage that the tunneling voltage at which this tunneling would happen. Yes. Okay, because uh, e, uh, this FN tunneling starts to take place. What governs the tunneling rate? Two things: oxide rate and thickness of the uh, uh, and and the field that you are applying across the oxide. That governs the tunneling rate. As to what is the tunneling current there? If you apply very high voltage, even for a thick gate oxide, you will be able to uh, do the tunneling in a fast enough time. However, if you have dense devices, you need to be careful. You apply lower voltages because they can give you the required speed already. What happens if an advanced technology applied very, very high voltages? So dielectric breakdown. Yes, the dielectric breakdown can happen. 
ठीक है